Hello Delta Conservancy, I'm Aaron Will, Regional Biologist for Ducks Unlimited and I'm standing on top of the pump station that we built together for the Yola Bypass Habitat and Drainage Improvement Project. Uh, this is sub project three and as you can see all the habitat behind me is flooded up and functioning and in the distance you can hear teal and pintail and widgeon and mallards and gadwalls. It's a fantastic day out here at the Yola Bypass Wildlife Area. Thank you for all your support over the years in realizing this fantastic project and I hope you enjoy the video. Work this year at the Yolo Bypass Wildlife Area included the completion of three major sub-projects. The work of the Y removed undersized culverts with a large precast bridge structure. By removing the small culverts, water is no longer restricted and can flow freely through the system, reducing flooding of the access roads, reducing beaver blockages and maintenance, and allows the wetland habitats to drain in the spring to support wintering waterfowl, shorebirds, and other wetland-dependent species. Additional improvements at the Y include expanding conveyance capabilities. This includes excavation of existing canals so they are deeper and wider. Canal and water control structure improvements allow greater volume and control for flood up and drawdown of rice fields and managed seasonal wetlands. Excavated material is sidecast and compacted to improve access for operations and maintenance of wetlands and wildlife friendly agriculture. The wetland units of Parker Pond were originally constructed in the late 1990s. However, water elevations in Parker Pond did not get high enough for water managers to flood the newly constructed wetland units. Subproject 5 constructs a new pump station to lift water from Parker Pond to the wetland units for wintering waterfowl, shorebirds, and other wetland dependent species. A forebay and larger afterbay were constructed to support high flood up rates to reduce mosquito production. Project activities at the Rice Corner improves drainage along the South Davis Drain, 
which in turn improves access throughout the Yolo Bypass Wildlife Area by alleviating flooding along the roadway east and south of the Rice Corner. The project replaces culverts and parallel road crossings with a single precast concrete bridge known as a conspan. Thank you to the Delta Conservancy and the Wildlife Conservation Board for funding the project and to all the individuals who helped make this project a reality. We look forward to sharing the project improvements for Greens Lake and the new Cross Canal pump station next year.